Hello, in this problem we're going to find the exact value of this expression. So we have sine of 40 degrees times the cosine of 160 degrees minus the cosine of 40 degrees times the sine of 160 degrees. To do this we're going to use a trig identity that tells us if you have the sine of let's say x minus y. So this is sine x cosine y, and then you keep the sine, and then you just switch the trig functions, so cosine x, sine y. So keep the sine, switch the function. So in this particular problem, um, x is going to be 40 degrees, and y is going to be 160 degrees. So all of this up here, is going to be equal to the sine. See how it matches, right? X, Y, X, Y. So it matches, matches perfectly. It matches really nicely. So it's just going to be X minus Y. So X is 40 degrees, and then Y is 160 degrees. It's right, so just X minus Y. So that's going to be sine of negative 120 degrees. And sine is uh, an odd function, so you can pull out the negative. You can do that with the sine function. This is a sine of 120. It's also called, I believe it's called a, a negative uh, number identity. But I always think of it as just the fact that uh, sine uh, is odd, so you can pull out negatives. In general, sine of negative x is negative sine x for all x. Cosine instead, by the way, if you're curious, eats negative signs, that would just be cosine x. Sine of 120, um, so 120 uh, is over here. There's 120 degrees. And then this here is 60, that would be the reference angle. And the sine of 60 is the square root of three over two. And we're still in quadrant two, so sine is still positive because it's the y coordinate on the unit circle. So therefore, this is also the square root of three over two. Let me explain that again because that's a really hard thing for people to learn. So when you're looking at the sine of 120 and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to compute it. Okay, so this is 180. And then so 120 is probably uh, somewhere over here, I guess, something like this. Not, not a great picture, but let's go with it. And then so this would be the reference angle. Okay, this is the reference angle. The ref angle is 60. And so the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same, except for possibly a sign change. So you say, okay, the sine of 60, is the square root of 3 over 2. That's from memory. So the sine of 120 is going to be either square root of 3 over 2 or the opposite, negative square root of 3 over 2. But 120 is here. And so on the unit circle, sine is the y coordinate. So sine is still positive here. So therefore, the sine of 120 is the square root of 3 over 2. And this negative is just here because it's hanging out. So that would be the final answer. I hope this was helpful. Good luck.